everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to pop down a card for the day for us. Once again, as expected, I um, haven't been able to post for a couple of days, as I mentioned before. Um, really struggle, <coughs> really struggling in the heat at the moment here. So um, it's been very tiring and um, energy has been very low so I haven't been able to post anything for a couple of days so sorry about that um, but I'm here today so I'd get it done early we're kind of um, eagerly awaiting a thunderstorm here so hopefully we'll get a thunderstorm that breaks this weather up a little bit and cools it all down a little bit for us a little bit of rain would be lovely so that the gardens can get a little bit of water and the animals can get a little bit of water so I'm just gonna have a little shuffle pop down our card for the day. Okay. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got five of cups. This is a bit like the weather that we've got today. Um, We've got, we've got this, these thunderstorms that have been predicted for the last sort of 24 hours. Um, nothing has actually materialised yet. So we're kind of eagerly awaiting this thing. Um, the weather doesn't seem to be able to make its mind up because it, the one minute it looks like it might thunder and a lightning, the next minute it looks like it's blue sky. So that's the energy of this card really. We're not quite sure whether we're coming or going. We're not sure whether we're staying or leaving. We're not really quite sure what we want. You know, we think that overall we would quite like things to change um, but we're kind of uncertain about that it has a bit of a fear factor to it for us so we, we don't know whether to stay or whether to go we're not quite sure what we're doing um, the energy is like that today so it's very up and down in its in its kind of um, in the ether I would say we're very up and down we have a full moon tonight um, in um, Aquarius, I believe, and it's, it's a, a full moon lunar eclipse, so this is quite powerful energy, okay? Um, so you may be feeling really, really drained, you may be feeling very emotional, um, there's a lot going on with this, so because of that energy, um, that can also affect the, the way you are, These, this kind of feeling really don't know what I'm doing, do I stay, do I, what am I, do I, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, best thing to do when you don't really know what you're doing is unless you absolutely have to do something is, is to do nothing you know just stop have a little pause and just kind of be quiet in your energy so you don't push yourself and force yourself to make a decision that might not be quite right for you so the guidance really is to um, sit tight for a little bit and see how you go um, this whole lunar eclipse energy is really strong and, and it does have a lot of emotion attached to it. Um, so, you know, just be gentle with yourself, I would say. It's the best thing to do when there's um, all of that kind of stuff going on. So, I'm just going to have a little shuffle. I'm going to work with these animal tarot cards again. Um, just have a little shuffle of those. So these cards will take us over into um, into the weekend. So I put down a couple of tarot cards and I'll put down an oracle card as well for the weekend. So let's just have a little look and see what the animal tarot deck has to say for us. This is the black and white Faulkner deck that I use as normal. This is the animal tarot cards. These are by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. It seems to have all gone very, very dark in here at the moment. Let me just put a light on and see. See better. I'm not sure if that's going to help any, but it might do. might be a little bit better it is it is clouding over here quite swiftly so could be that that's 
one minute we've got a bright sun coming through yeah, you can see it coming through and then the next minute we are quite cloudy so sorry about the fluctuating light conditions um, so this is the star card so the star is beautiful um, it just is all about having a really really lovely energy about us and it's all about dreams coming true wishes coming true um, you can see the card is full of loads of different imagery so we've got a bird which talks about freedom and, and all of that kind of energy you've got the butterfly there which talks about transformation and you've got the stars in the sky um, we've got all the water and the groundedness you've got so much going on here so it just depends what you're actually drawn to the message on the bottom of the card says um, you are about to take a leap forward with your life Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope, and joy is coming home to roost. So this is a really, really beautiful, beautiful card. The star talks about wishes, making a wish. So um, I would normally do new moon wishes, but you can wish absolutely any time you want to. And the full moon, absolutely why not? What it would be very useful to do on a full moon is to wish for things wish to release things that you no longer need so you know if you've kind of got this whole energy around you something that's just been bugging you for ages and ages and ages and you're kind of done with it send that wish to the universe you know i wish for that situation to be resolved i wish to be able to release that energy um so it's a great time to do that you know this is what it's saying fear will be replaced with optimism letting go of the fear releasing the fear full moon energy is absolutely brilliant for doing that with we've got the full moon tonight um still be around us a little bit that energy in the weekend so you know plenty of time to do the releasing um if you can do it today great if not you know do it when you can it's never ever a bad time to do a releasing meditation you know because it's always it's always a good thing to do release some of that negative stuff that you might be hanging around you um but it's especially good to do it when we've got a full moon so that's our first two cards our first two tarot cards and i'm just going to pop down to go with it i really want to put down one of these um so this is the energy oracle um just drawn to use that today so i'm gonna have a little shuffle and pop it down yeah sorry about this light in here it really isn't brilliant um, let me just put down this oracle card first of all okay so the oracle card we have is blossoming abundance beautiful beautiful card so this is another lovely energy for us so not only do we have the star that is saying what's you know what we can manifest for ourselves you know what we can wish for and then we have the beautiful blossoming abundance card which is exactly that it's all about abundance coming in for us all about that energy of being able to create wonderful things and grow wonderful things you know you can see that this card is like full of um really beautiful positive energy um being able to kind of make something for ourselves but you know blossoming abundance is about what you have you know it can be it doesn't have to be money it doesn't have to be that um but it, it, you know it could be family it could be having good things around you it could be a beautiful garden it could be the fact that we might get some rain which is going to allow the flowers to grow again um so these are really really fantastic beautiful cards so i would say to you there's a real energy of manifesting stuff being able to make things happen wishes coming true this weekend so you know don't be afraid to send your wishes out there don't be afraid to do a vision board don't be afraid to kind of make a list of stuff that you would like to release and and the things that you would like to bring in to replace that so really beautiful lovely cards to take us all the way through this weekend if i do have a little bit more time this weekend i've got a couple of unboxings that i want to do so i'll try and get those done and maybe put those up onto my youtube channel just depends on how all the other work goes and, and whether the heat calms down a little bit um i need to get back into the swing of things for a little while um 
so hopefully I'll be able to do a few little bits and bobs for you at the weekend if I can. If not, I will see you on Monday and have a really fabulous weekend and I will speak to you then. Bye for now.